And so, in less than two weeks, Sochi will be the epicentre of the winter sport world, yet many people outside the country might struggle to find the city on a map. So, Richard Van Portfleet put together this fan's eye view of what to expect when the games get underway. This will be a regular sight for the people of Sochi over the next month, as thousands of athletes, spectators and journalists descend on the Black Sea Resort. The new airport terminal is equipped to handle the large influx of visitors, while the high-speed train link takes the passengers to the main rail hub at Adler. From there, they'll have the option of going to Sochi city centre, the mountain cluster at Krasnepaliana, or to the Olympic Park. The link can accommodate 8,500 passengers an hour and will prove invaluable during the games, especially for fans of skiing to take them on the 50-kilometre trip from Sochi to the snowy peaks of Krasnaya Paliana. Also the mountain hub of Rosa Huta, which will host the Alpine and sliding events, amongst others. Well, it's been built specially from scratch for the Sochi Games and will have some of the best facilities that you'll find anywhere in the world. There are plenty of hotel rooms spread throughout the resort and four ski lifts will take both competitors and spectators up to the slopes. So far, this winter has been very mild by Russian standards, but there won't be any problems with a lack of snow, as the all-important stuff has been stockpiled for months to ensure the slopes are well covered. While in contrast, visitors down at the coastal cluster will notice how balmy the temperature is, as Sochi enjoys a subtropical climate with warm winters and hot summers. The city also claims to be the longest in Europe, sprawling around 140 kilometres along the Black Sea coast. Traffic is constant along the main coastal road as the resort is sandwiched between the sea and the mountains. So the rail link offers the easiest way to get around, with a ticket from Sochi to the Olympic Park costing around $2. Unlike the Vancouver Games where the arenas were spread out through the city, in Sochi they'll all be in one central cluster. The distances could be covered on foot, but getting around is much quicker by bus. There will be 963 buses in operation around Sochi during the Olympics. They'll be centered around three bus stations, which have been constructed specially for the Games. And around 2,500 drivers have also been hired. While the organizers have the final touches to the venues, local fans have already experienced a number of high-profile events, such as the Russian leg of the Euro Tour ice hockey and the National Figure Skating Championships. The stadiums have been built, the transport links are in place, while test events have been held over the last year or so to make sure everything runs like clockwork. Well, in around a month's time, the world's eyes will be on Sochi as the city gets ready to host the biggest ever sporting event that the country has ever hosted. Richard Van Portfleet, Arty, Sochi.